there are influencers online that are saying that sunscreen is dangerous, that it actually causes cancer, that it's going to interfere with your production of vitamin D, etc. Is this true? Is it not? We're jumping right in because honestly, this is so scary to me. First of all, sunscreen is so important to wear. When I tell you how, I mean, I can't tell you how important it is to wear. Sunscreen, broad spectrum sunscreen decreases our risk of skin cancer, also reduces the signs of aging. This is important. I wear sunscreen every day and honestly, you should too. Now, in terms of whether sunscreen is safe or healthy, et cetera, um, this is a statement that the American Academy of Dermatology makes. They say that the um, FDA makes recommendations based on current scientific evidence, and the science doesn't show that any sunscreen ingredients currently available in the United States are harmful to human health. Okay. They go on to say that the uh, FDA is looking at a number of sunscreen ingredients. Okay. They're looking at them. They're investigating them. Some of them have been absorbed into the bloodstream. So we're trying to figure out what that means. But just because an ingredient has been absorbed into the bloodstream does not mean that it is necessarily harmful or unsafe. The conclusion is, honestly, sunscreen is so important. If you're not comfortable with the sunscreens that you're seeing on the market um, and on the shelves, go talk to your dermatologist about different options and the different types of sunscreens to find one that you are comfortable with. But I'm going to say it again. Sunscreen reduces the risk of cancer, skin cancer, and also uh, reduces signs of aging. You wonder how uh, who, the people who have the fountain of youth, how they stay looking so young so long. Chances are it's that they've been avoiding sun and wearing sunscreen sunscreen. Speaking of which, and then we're going to talk about vitamin D, so don't go anywhere, but a couple of things I need you to understand. Skin cancer is the most common cancer in the United States. Y'all need to know this. One in five people will get skin cancer and it affects everyone, including dark skin people. We all need to be wearing sunscreen. I wear it every single day. Now, um, before the vitamin D stuff, what you need to know in terms of the sunscreen that you buy, make sure that it is broad spectrum, spectrum that means UVA and UVB uh, rays are covered. Make sure that it is water resistant, okay? And make sure that you have at least an SPF of 30 uh, uh, and higher, okay? That's what you want to do. Make sure you're reapplying sunscreen at least every two hours or if you sweat or get in water, okay? You're going to have to reapply it more frequently because it will come off. It's really important. Um, now let's get to the vitamin D stuff because a lot of people say, even influencers are saying, well, you don't want to use sunscreen because it's going to keep you from producing vitamin D. Now we do know that that sun is involved in the production of vitamin D. Oops, this hair is acting kind of funny. We know that, right? Okay, fix that. Uh, sunscreen absolutely is involved in the production of vitamin D, but we get vitamin D from other places too. We get it from our food. We get it from liquids that we are uh, consuming. And also it comes in supplement form if we're not getting enough. Now it is not untrue that many of us are vitamin D deficient. I am as well, uh, but I'm not going out and sitting in the sun to get my vitamin D. You know why? Because the risks of skin cancer um, are much greater and problematic than, uh, you know, me not getting enough vitamin D from sun. Why? Because I can get my vitamin D from other places, from foods, from supplements, etc. It's not worth it to go into the sun to get your vitamin D when you can get it in safer ways. And that's why we doctors don't recommend you going out into the sun to get vitamin D. So don't buy into this argument that, oh, well, you got to get sun and don't wear sunscreen because you need to produce vitamin D. Ah, you, you can get it in other ways and you do get it in other ways, but I have a video, by the way, on the foods that have the most vitamin D. I'll post that here. Also some videos on like vitamin D supplementation and things like that, that you need to know. Um, what else do I want to tell you? The other things you need to keep in mind is just really kind of avoid the sun. Okay. Make sure you're avoiding, um, the hottest times of day, use like 10 to 2, 10 to 4 of the day, wear a wide brim hat, cover yourself up, seek shady areas, all this sun protection stuff is important. It is not bogus. Please do not listen to people who are saying, don't wear sunscreen. Sunscreen is dangerous. What's dangerous is you not wearing sunscreen. That's what's dangerous. Guys, I'm Dr. Jen. I'm sorry to sound, if I sound angry, I'm sorry I do, but there's just a lot of people out there saying really crazy things about sunscreen and it scares me. Let me know in the comments what you think. Let me know what you've heard online. Um, please share this video with other people who need to hear it. Uh, Dr. Jen Cottle on Facebook, please like and follow my page on YouTube. Please subscribe to my channel. Click the little bell for updates. I do daily videos and all sorts of things. Uh, you can find me on TikTok, WhatsApp, um, Instagram at Dr. Jen Cottle. And please go to my website, www.drjencottle.com to sign up for my free health newsletter. Guys, love y'all. Stay safe, okay?